This is Super Yacht News with the Sysman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so in Amsterdam right now, it is the 30th edition of the Super Yacht Forum, which is an event that brings together people. And in the words of Super Yacht News, uh, it says the Super Yacht event brings together leading industry figures with speeches and workshops about the future of the Super Yacht industry. So that's that's what they say. Um, that it's held every year. And but this year, it's, and it happened actually today. This year, the um, the event was interrupted by some protesters. First time, and the people said they were from a group called Extinction Rebellion, and uh, there were literally tens of, well, there were actually probably about ten protesters in in total at this at this event. Although they were very loud, they had their uh, megaphones and stuff like that. And as you can see in the footage here, uh, some of it was sent in by a stellar yachting agency. So they burst into the room and they were protesting. And in actual fact, what the organizers did is they, they invited them up on stage and so they could say something. Um, but ironically, the forum was about the energy challenges the industry faces. So they were actually talking about how to reduce emissions and all that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, the spokesperson for the Extinction Rebellion Amsterdam said that super yachts are an obvious symbol of climate and uh, social injustice. This event is one big greenwashing event and this BS, didn't say BS, but industry for the ultra-rich has no right to exist in times of increasing climate disruption. He went on to say that Europeans are responsible for about seven tons of CO2 per year, while a super yacht with a permanent crew, helipad, submarines and swimming pools emits about 7,000 tonnes of CO2 per year. So if you want to read the rest of that article, I will put a link in the, in the description so you can go and see it. So we'll move on anyway to the next story. So the late Paul Allen, uh, as you know, his, uh, I believe his sister has sold off his super yacht collection. His art collection was something else which is actually worth more than his super yacht collection, believe it or not. And um, he, in his will, he said that he wanted his art collection to be sold off and the money, the proceeds of which to go to charity. And that's exactly what has just happened. Uh, the Christie's auction house held the, um, the event. Um, included in the auction was a Vincent Van Gogh, which sold for, I'll put the name of it on the screen because I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Uh, but it sold for $117 million. That was one painting and there were 60 art pieces. Um, anyway, it broke all records. It was the biggest sale in auction history and the total amount raised was $1.5 billion. So and that, all of that money is going to charity, which is great news. So $1.5 billion, that if you if you add up, up Motia Octopus, uh, Tatoosh and Meduse does not come to $1.5 million. Incredible. All right, so we'll move on to the next story. So this, uh, I mentioned in a recent video that there was seemed to be a bit of a, a yacht exodus from Turkey. I mentioned that uh, Titan had left and gone to Dubai. Uh, Dumitri Robolev's Motia Anna had left Marmaris and, and gone to Qatar. Uh, Oleg Deripaska's yacht Cleo had left and gone back to Sochi, which where it had come from uh, orig originally. And Leonard Mickelson's yacht Pacific X which had been in Marmaris for months, and that's now left, and it's gone to Izmit, which is still in Turkey, but it's very close to the Bosphorus Strait, so easy access to Russia. Now, in the last in the last days, uh, we we got note that Moti Lana has left uh, Turkey. Also, it's actually gone to Dubai. Now, we don't know who owns Lana, but we believe it's Russian owned. But um, Alicia Usmanov, he. He re leased this vessel or chartered the vessel, and um, we don't know if he's still on board. He did charter it a while ago. He has been known to charter vessels for the summer, so it's possible that he's on board that vessel because obviously Dilbar is is uh, is currently uh, in super yacht prison, isn't it? Um, another vessel that has uh, left Turkey is Motiot Romea. Now, Motia Romea is Russian owned and it was, was unknown until recently who owns this vessel. But we had a, a source close to the vessel told us that the owner is Alexander Nessis. Now that vessel was in Fetayi and it has traveled to Port Said. 
So that won't be the final destination. That is a staging area for transit through the uh, Suez Canal. So most likely, well, possibly going to Dubai also. All right, so we'll move on. Motiot Nord has been sighted again in, in the Maldives. So we, we, we did a video, the last video that we did actually was a breaking news story that we'd spotted the boat or a subscriber had uh, taken video and stills of the vessel as he flew over it on a, on a commercial flight. And now we've got more, more footage, this video footage you can see here. And this footage was taken yesterday of the boat and it was, um, it was uh, just south of uh, Velasu Velasuru Island. Um, so the, I'll, I'll put it on screen here. We, we, he sent us a, a, a screen grab of his phone to show us where, where he'd spotted it. Uh, most likely shot at before 8 a.m. because the, the flag or ensign is missing from the, from the mast from, or from the, the flagpole there. Um, also noted that the uh, helicopter hangar is extended, which suggests that the helicopter is on board. Uh, when the vessel was in Hong Kong, the video footage and the still images that we got from Hong Kong showed that a collapsed uh, hangar extends out so they can cover the helicopter on the on the on the flight deck there. Um, so it suggests that the helicopter is on board, which also suggests that the owner is is using the boat. Um, so yeah, so that's been spotted in that location. Uh, so um, quite close to to Mali, which is the the where the airport is. So that's very useful to get to and from the vessel, right? So the boat is still in the Maldives. No sign of it heading to South Africa, unfortunately, for the people who were excited to see it arrive. All right, so we've got one last story here. And this is, a, it's not really a story, actually. I just thought you'd be interested in seeing this. Motiart Mizu. Uh, this is a 53-meter boat that was built by Ocean Fast in Australia. Uh, 53 meters, sorry, is 174 feet. And the owner is a big fan of, of supercars, so he's a very similar taste to me, he's just got more money. Um, you can see in this, in this video here, a time lapse of the, of the, of a Lamborghini Countach being, being winched onto the, onto the vessel. And it, and it apparently sits on the stern deck there. I don't know whether he goes to sea with that boat out there. I don't think so. It's probably, it's probably just for show in the, in the marina where it is. I think it was at a yacht show. Um, so the, the boat, the boat can do 28 knots, which is really impressive. And it's actually for sale, this boat. So it's for sale for the bargain price of uh, just shy of $10 million. Um, it does not come with the car, however, I'm, I'm told. Um, so you'd have to make him a good offer if you want the car included. He does have another car. I'm, I'm sure he has many cars, but he has another car that he sometimes puts on the boat. And he apparently switched out just after these photos were taken. And, uh, that, and the other car is a Ferrari F40. So another iconic car. So I just thought I'd leave you with that. I, I thought, just thought it was cool. I saw it on Instagram recently and I contacted the boat and, um, and, uh, they sent me some of these, these still photos. So that is, uh, that's very cool. So anyway, um, if the owner's watching and he wants me to come and uh, make a video about his boat, do an interior tour for the sale or something, please get in touch. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, just one last thing, um, just check out our Patreon page, patreon.com uh, slash esisman. We've got some exclusive stuff on there. I've just posted the first video in a series of vlogs that I shot a few years ago, which involves uh, transiting the Atlantic on a, on a super yacht. Um, and I've also got other exclusive stuff on there, early releases, uh, videos with no adverts and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, be sure to check it out, patreon.com slash esisman. Also check out our new channel, uh, Three Minutes of Maritime, which is exactly what it says on the tin. It's three minutes of almost accidents, actual accidents, near misses, etc., stuff like that, of the whole maritime industry, not just super yachts. All right, thanks very much for watching. If you've got any information about any of the stories here or any other stories, please be sure to get in touch. You can do that through the About page of the YouTube channel. You can get us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, and you can also get us on Threema. Be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for future notifications. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.